Hello everyone, today we'll be opening a set booster box of Zendikar Rising. This box contains 30 packs of 12 cards each, plus a token and an art card. This set was released September of 2020. Pricing provided during this video is as of April 6, 2022. Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be opening up a set booster box of Zendikar Rising. Uh, fully sealed. Absolutely no damage to the seal. Um, so let's go ahead and open her up and see what we get. All right, so we have our box topper. Go ahead and remove that and stick that towards the top. laid out here. We can slide our box topper a little bit further down and out of the way. All right, let's get to open it. And our very first pack, we have a foil signed card number one, Jace uh, Mirror Mage. Um, only because it has the signature, we'll go ahead and sleeve that one up and put that away. All right, we're going to be starting off with a mountain. And we're going to go rather quickly through the commons, as there are currently no commons uh, worth more than $3. Um, so we're up to our first rare. This is going to be a throne of McKindy. Um, currently not worth more than $3. But we will sleeve it up because it is a rare. We do have a foil uh, broken wings and a Yavamaya Scion from the list. Uh, I didn't write down any of the prices for the list simply because there's just so many list cards. Um, so I'll definitely be doing a, an analysis of the list cards afterwards as well as uh, I'll also do an analysis of any of the art cards that we come across. Uh, and factoring in the basic lands. Um, there happens to be the artwork of the mountain that we just saw. And we get a foil mountain as well. Spoil the adventure, journey to oblivion, allied assault. This package is full of uncommons. Vanquish the weak, followed by an adventure of weights. Oh, missed our rare, master of winds. And then a scavenge blade and not even a token. So we'll go ahead and sleeve up our foil. Go ahead and sleeve up our artwork anyway and our rare. So at this time in Zendikar Rising, uh, there are there's only one uncommon currently worth more than three dollars. That's going to be our Belaged. Uh, recovery, which is an uncommon, currently valued at $3.68. And there's Nyssa. So we're seeing a lot of Planeswalker um, artwork here. Maybe that uh, bodes well for us. Only time will tell. Into the Royal. And our rare is a Soul Shatter. Oh, double rare pack. Uh, Toberax Hope's Demise. Followed by a wizard or wind rider wizard, and we already saw the insect token. Let's leave all these up and then we'll go ahead and move on. And maybe halfway through the video, we'll go ahead and uh, go to the box topper. And we have a forest, followed by its mirror land. Seagate Colossus, Glacial Grasp, and a Lotus Cobra. 
Uh, unfortunately, not currently worth more than $3, uh, but still uh, does hold value more than $1. Played against that more times than I'd like to admit on Arena. Came back to Magic the Gathering when, uh, just prior to Zendikar Rising coming out. And so saw, that card saw quite a bit of play on Arena. Spitfire Lagak in Showcase. And our rare is Zagras, Thief of Heartbeats, followed by Core Celebrant and a Cat Beast token. Currently, none of the tokens in the set are worth more than a dollar. Um, they're all pretty low value. I think that's because this set has been opened quite a bit uh, in, in hopes of uh, opening up good expeditions. Art Mountain, Mind Carver, Skyclave Squid Showcase, a Shell Shield, a Relic Golem, and our rares keep getting stuck. Uh, and then we have a Relic Robber, followed by a Tasm's Raptor, and a No Token Token. Plains, Dreadworm, Territorial uh, Sky Cat, Field Research, oh, and we're going to get our first rare land, uh, Clearwater Pathway, followed by an Akron of Emeria, and a Taunting Arbor Mage, and a No Token Token. Currently, the Clearwater Pathway is worth $6.42. It is the most valuable of the lands in this, uh, in this set, uh, if you don't exclude the borderless. Swamp. Yashari, uh, Implaceable Earth, Ooh. followed by a Seagate Restoration, with triple, oh, double rare and mythic, uh, Skyclave Ranger, and a Kazu Stomper, followed by a Construct Token. So Seagate Restoration is a pretty darn good hit, currently sitting at $14.42. Unfortunately, the other two rares in this pack, uh, not worth uh, much from a value perspective, uh, but we'll definitely go ahead and sleeve those up. It's generally always a place for rares and mythics in the secondary market. Uh, the Ozolith Art Card, Full Art Swamp, Malik Rebirth, Acquisitions Expert, Inscription of Ruin and a Cliff Hibbing Kite Scale Kite Sail, followed by a no token token. It's amazing how many non token tokens we've opened up thus far. All right, continuing on to our next pack. Um, we have an island, followed by a mountain. Utility Knife, and our Charix, the Raging Isle for our rare, followed by a Hagra Constrictor Foil, and a, another non-token token. Definitely be talking about that during the breakdown of the numbers. 
tokens are never really well there are some tokens that are definitely worth money um, but tokens uh, generally are a good way to kind of unload um, when you're selling off uh, to recoup some of your cost of the box opening um, I never keep tokens um, after watching for a little while I've, I haven't really seen uh, tokens increase in value over time significantly uh, so we have uh, another big hit here. We have the Ancient Green Warden, another Mythic. Uh, this one's currently worth $9.83 on the TCG player uh, market price. Uh, and then we have a Strength of Solidarity Foil, followed by a Training Grounds uh, from the list. Go ahead and put our ancient green warden over in our special pile and we'll move on to our next pack getting a lot of the land cycle in the art cards not disappointed by that basswood surge all right we have a soul shatter for a rare and a Skyclave Relic, neither of which are worth more than $3, but uh, two rares in a pack, we'll take it. And then a Foil Showcase uh, Nectar Pot, followed by a Core Warrior Token. All right, so moving right along. Hooray, a token. We have Forest, Deliberate, Jorga Visionary, Thundering Spark Mage, Thwart the Grave, Nahiri's Binding. And for our rare uh, Soul of the Wild. Um, this one's currently also uh, well, it is a mythic, but it's also worth uh, $8.79 according to TCG Player. Definitely take care of that one to sleeve it up. And an Amero Wizard Foil, uh, which is going to be one of our flip foils. And there's a Drake token. So seeing some pretty decent value in the mythic um, so far. We have three mythics, uh, almost all worth $10 at this point. Planes. Um, Ackham Hellhound Showcase, Mind Drain. And we have another land. This is our Needle Verge Pathway, uh, which is currently $4.71 TCG market price, followed by a foil Null Priest of Oblivion. Unfortunately, the non-foil is not worth $3, so I can't imagine the foil is going to be worth too much. Uh, and then we have an Illusion Token. Well, we'll go ahead and sleeve it up, A, because it's a foil, and B, because it's a rare. All right, move them right along. All right, we have an island, Lull Mage Domination, Relic Golem, Base Camp, Veteran Adventure, Territorial Skyclave Cat, Sky Cat, Feed the Swarm, a Deliberate, and an Arch Priest of Iona, followed by a Foil Caneth, Canopy Balath, and a Grizzly Fate from the list. I feel like we're getting a few decent sampling from the list in this particular box. Certainly better than some of my previous openings of Zendikar Rising. This was before I started streaming on YouTube. Think back at all the product I've opened over the years and how much content I could have shared. All 
but just uh, did, didn't see or didn't think anyone would want to watch. Omnith Locus of Creation Mythic in uh, Showcase. This one is currently $10.93, so definitely go ahead and foil him up with a, or sleeve him up with a foil negate. And another card from the list, a Laxweed, Laxlead, eh, Lashweed Lurker. I promise I'll learn to talk. It's just going to take a few videos to get me there. Mercer Brute, Fireblade Charger, Cabria Takedown, and our rare is a coveted prize. This is Zendikon and a copy token. Forest, Seagate Colossus. Still haven't seen our Belagade uh, recovery for our uh, for our uncommon. So we have Confounding Conundrum, followed by a Morag Fury, Morag Fury of Acorum. Uh, it is a mythic, however, it is uh, it is worth five dollars and thirty four cents. And we have a Spitfire Lagak foil, and we have a plant token. I'm going to slide that one into the uh, the five dollar pile. Confounding Conundrum, however, is not currently worth more than three dollars. Moving right along. And we have a Felidar Retreat, followed by a Tajuro Bright Blade foil and a plant token. Unfortunately, the Felidar Retreat is also not worth more than $3 at this time. I believe it is over a buck. Dreadworm, Disenchant, Blood Prince, and a Skyclave Shade, followed by an Expedition Diviner and our cat token. There's our first extended art, River Glade Pathway. This one currently is $5.43 according to TCG Player, followed by a Living Tempest foil and a copy token. So I'm going to sleeve up our River Glade. And we'll move on. We've got uh, eight more packs to go after this, plus our Expedition Box Topper. Uh, Valakut Awakening, uh, currently worth $6.64. 
followed by a rare Null Priest of Oblivion. Um, its non-foil is not worth more than three dollars, um, so I can't imagine the foil is considering the uh, the print run on Zendikar Rising. Uh, but we'll go ahead and sleeve it up anyway. We have a foil swamp, far side adept. Ooh, another mythic, uh, Agadim's Awakening. This currently is the most expensive, non-extended art, uh, non-foil, non-flashy card at $17.39, followed by the Ox Showcase Foil and a Drake Token. So we are just hitting mythic gold with this particular box. Can't wait to run the numbers on this one. Don't think this is going to be a representative sample of what you might find in a box. Um, but considering the luck that we're having on here, I'll probably do another Zendikar Rising box in the future. Maybe a couple of months from now. And we'll be able to run uh, an analysis between box one and box two. Um, I'll make sure to purchase it from a different seller. Uh, so we have a squad commander for a rare, followed by a second rare, uh, a Vezerol, the split current. Currently neither are worth more than $3. Uh, we have a marauding uh, blight priest, and then another uh, from cold snap, uh, I believe, from the list. Foil Island. Another ox. Uh, we have a myriad construct. Uh, currently not worth more than $3. And then we have a brush fire elemental showcase in foil. And then another non-token token. with me for just a second I've run out of sleeves so many things to sleeve in this particular uh, box there we go this is only video number two for me got me a little bit of slack hopefully by video 10 or or so I'll have the rhythm of this camera placement audio lighting all these things the YouTubers really do make it look easy. Or at least the ones that have been doing it for years. Cleric of the of Life's Bond and a Maul of the Skyclaves. Followed by a Deadly Alliance and a non-token token. Not sure if the quality of the box has anything to do with the box topper placed inside. You know, if they're trying to distribute value equally, or at least as best they can based upon their predictions of the sets uh, prior to printing and release. There's a Ruin Crab. And a confound Confounding Conundrum, followed by a Merfolk Falconer and an Angel Warrior token.
and our rare. I think we've seen that one before. Uh, the split current again, followed by inordinate rage foil and our core warrior token. I think we're starting to see a little bit of repeat action in our rare slot. Go ahead and slide this pile up here and work on our last two packs. And a Hagra's Mauling for our rare, currently not worth more than $3. But we do get a second rare, Wayward Guide Beast in foil. Um, also not worth $3, but it is a foil rare. Ooh, and then Teller of Tales from the list um, from Throne of Eldraine. So that's going to be a mythic from the list. Definitely going to look up that afterwards. I'll have a whole... Uh, presentation on cards from the list, as well as a breakdown of foils, non-foils, commons, uncommons, mythics, rares, um, as well as by, by color, by basic type. And we'll price everything out based upon TCG player uh, as of today or tomorrow when I run the statistics on the box. There is our one uncommon currently worth more than $3. Resolute Strike, and a Soul Shatter Rare, followed by a Cunning Geyser Mage, and another list hit uh, from Magic Knight, or M10, uh, and that's going to be Fabricate. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven list hits. Not bad. So we'll foil it up and put that up here. Just leave that up. All right, and now we're at the, the box topper. We'll take our time. Only one card in here, so it makes it a little bit harder to open it up. All right, there we go. I think we've cleared enough of it. All right, and we get a grove of the burrow billow burn willows definitely go ahead and sleeve that up and i will uh, let you know the value of that in just a moment thanks for watching um, stay tuned uh, i'll do the complete sort uh, and statistical analysis of the box opening soon thank you now that the cards have been sorted, inventoried, and priced, let's get into the box analysis. Before we dig too deep into the analytics of the box we just opened, let's baseline with set distribution. Zendikar Rising contains a total of 384 cards. The set booster box product isn't eligible for the 66 extended art cards, bringing the total number of eligible cards in the set down to 318 in our box. Now let's pivot to distribution of cards in our box relative to the set. Based on the data, we can see that this box favored white and black the most and green the least. We saw 215 unique cards providing 68% coverage of the 318 cards we were eligible to see. In the foil space, we only saw 9% of all cards, which is to be expected since there is only one foil per pack. Pivoting to coverage by rarity, the set contains 110 commons, 86 uncommons, 77 rares, and 25 mythics. In the non-foil space, we covered 81% of the commons, 35% of the rares, and 24% of the mythics. I skipped uncommon for a second, but only because we hit an extremely high coverage percentage and I wanted to call it out. In the uncommon space, we covered 91% of all cards and only missed five of the non-borderless, non-showcase uncommon cards. In the foil space, we had far less coverage, but that makes sense considering that this is a set booster box and we were only gonna see one foil per pack. We did hit 22 of the 110 common foils, giving us 20% coverage there. In total, we saw 35 foil and non-foil rares and mythics, averaging just slightly over 1.1 per pack.
Out of the total 360 cards we saw, only one of the foils was a duplicate, which was Null Priest of Oblivion. In the non-foil space, we saw 35% duplication with 115 repeat cards, with most of them being from white. Let's talk about the set's value. As with most Magic sets, the majority of cards in the set are less than a dollar. This set has aged fairly well, with 45 of the 318 cards valued over a buck. Four are currently over $10, 12 are currently between $5 and $9.99, and 33 are somewhere between $1 and $5. In the $5 to $10 range, there are 14 cards. However, only 64% of those are available in the Set Booster Box product. The rest are exclusive to the Collector Booster Packs. Another way to look at value is by dollar classification. This chart illustrates our dollar classification ranges of greater than 10, 5 to 10, 1 to 5, and less than a dollar. The number of non-foil cards appears along the black line, and the value of all cards in that classification are illustrated with the green line. In the Set Booster Box product, there are four cards valued over $10, with a total value of $53.21. 12 cards valued between $5 and $9.99 with a total value of $81.02, and 33 cards between $1 and $5 with a total value of $97.96. .96. The remaining 269 cards are less than a dollar each with a total value of $34.45. How did we do? I'd say we did pretty darn good hitting three of the top four cards in the set with Omnis Locus of Creation for $10.93, Seagate Restoration for $14.42, and the most expensive card that we could have opened, and we did, was Agadim's Awakening at $17.39. We only missed the non-showcase Omnith. We also hit six of 12 cards valued between $5 and $10. Even though we saw 30 foils, we saw very little value, and none of our foils crossed the dollar threshold. We only hit one signed art card in the box, and unfortunately it wasn't a great one. Art Jace is the 24th most expensive card in the set, valued at only $2.23. The number 11 island is currently the most expensive at $10.61 for the gold stamp version. None of the tokens in this set hold any significant value, so I won't be talking about them in this video. However, replacing seven of our tokens were cards from the list, and to be honest, I was a little shocked by the value in this slot. We saw a Lashweed Lurker from the Eldritch Moon, a Yabamaya Scion from Urza's Legacy, Grizzly Fate from Judgment, and a Scred from Cold Snap, none of which have any significant value. We did see some value in Fabricate from Magic 2010. However, um, we did see significant value from the Chulain Teller of Tales from Throne of Eldraine. And because I wasn't playing Magic back in 2010, I didn't know what we had hit when we saw the training grounds from Rise of the Eldrazi. This card is currently valued from the list at $31.44. Now that we've talked about our box hit, let's talk about our dud of the box. We opened a beautiful grove of burn willows. However, this is not one of the big expedition hits and only valued at $6.58. The Cabin of Souls expedition is currently the highest valued card in this slot and has a TCG marketplace of about $90. So how did we actually do on this box? Well, I purchased this box from Amazon on April 2nd for $111.01. We opened up 30 packs with 12 cards each for seeing a total of 360 cards. In the non-foil space, we saw a value of $130.40. Foil was $3.23, $12.42 in the art card space, and a massive $53.03 from the list. Our expedition was a little below expectations at $6.58. However, our total value for the box was $205.66. This gives us a gain of $94.65 above the purchase price or 185% value of the, our purchase price. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.